I'm Brent with Instructor Gadget. Although less popular than they once were, CDs and DVDs are still very useful tools. CDs are primarily used to make audio discs so that you can listen to music in your CD player. DVDs are used to burn video files or movie files so that you can watch them on your TV. Both can be used as data storage discs. The main difference between CDs and DVDs is that DVDs have seven times the capacity. Today we're going to learn how to burn files to a DVD or CD as a data storage disk. In order to burn files to a data disk, we'll first need to navigate to wherever the files are stored. The files I want to burn are in the My Documents folder, so I'm first going to click on the Start button in the bottom left-hand corner. I'll then proceed to click on the Documents Library. Next I'll click on the My Documents folder. As you can see I have three folders I would like to burn to a data disk. To select these folders, I'll first need to click on one folder. I can then hold down the control key on my keyboard and proceed to click on the other folders in order to select them. In order to copy the contents to a data disk, I will need to select the option Burn. I will then be prompted with a window asking me to insert the disk into the optical drive. The optical drive should automatically eject the drawer. Open the drawer completely, then insert the disk right side up. When you're ready, close the drawer. By default, the disk title is the current date. If you would like to change the disk title, click inside the box, delete the contents, and then rename the disk. We can copy the files to the disk one of two ways. The first option will allow us to do it like a USB flash drive, which means we can save, edit, or delete the files at any time. This is nice because if you want to use the disk multiple times, you can do so. The second option is better for single use. It won't allow you to edit or delete the files, but it will allow the files to be read on a CD or DVD player. To select an option, click inside the radio button, then click Next. The disk will then be formatted for use. Once the files have been copied to the disk, you'll want to click on Close Session so that the disk can be used in another computer. Once the session has been closed, you can click on Computer, and then double click on the drive for the disk, to double check and make sure the files have been successfully written to the disk. When you're ready to eject the disk, you can click on Eject. The optical drive will automatically open, allowing you to remove the disk. Although CDs and DVDs can be used to back up your computer, most people find external hard drives to be more convenient. You also need to take care of the bottom of the disk because if it gets scratched, it can ruin the disk. I want to thank you for watching this episode of Instructor Gadget. I want to encourage you to visit our website, InstructorGadget.com, for more tutorials as well as additional resources.